Frontier just announced the Eurasia Animal Pack that will bring you 8 new animals to the game. This pack will launch on Wednesday the 13th of December, so next week on Wednesday. So we have a little announcement trailer to look at and we also have some screenshots of some of the new animals. And we're going to talk a little bit about the new campaign scenario that will be added with this pack as well. But before we jump into it, I would love to thank the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. But first, what what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's like your own private network on the internet. With Surfshark, you can put your phone, computer or laptop virtually in a different country. Why is that cool? Well, let me tell you. For instance, I can binge watch my favorite show The 100 via VPN in America even though it's not available anymore in Europe. It's like having access to a secret library of shows and movies from around the world. And when you're on a holiday, no need to worry about missing your favorite series or local shows anymore because Surfshark lets you watch most of your favorite websites wherever you are. Plus, you can watch TV shows from other countries that might not be available on your own. It's like expanding your entertainment horizon with just one click. Now, let's talk about anonymity. Companies are constantly tracking who you are and what you're doing online. Surfshark helps you browse the internet safely without them gathering your personal information. And here's something cool. Have you Ever noticed how some flight ticket prices change? Some websites use cookies to jack up the prices. With Surfshark, you can get better prices on those websites by keeping your cookies to yourself. And it's not just about one device. You can use Surfshark on an unlimited number of devices, so you can even share it with your family and friends if you want to. And the best part? You don't have to wait and doubt if you want a VPN or not. If you use the link in the description or my special promo code DELADY, you get an amazing 83% off and up to 5 months for free. Plus, you can try the VPN risk-free with Surfshark's 30-day money-back guarantee policy. So what are you waiting for? Give Surfshark a try and experience the internet like never before. Stay safe, stay secure, and happy browsing! So now without further talking, let's first check out the trailer. So that was a very short trailer as always with the announcement trailer. But let's go over and see what animals we can spot, shall we? So right over here we can see the Wizened. Does look pretty nice, although I do feel like it may look a little bit less good than other animals that we have seen graphic-wise. Not sure if that is just me. Or do you guys agree with that? Not entirely sure about the fur and stuff. It looks a little bit more fuzzy for some reason, but maybe that's just me. Look at this beautiful picture. I love the scene right over here with all the snow and stuff. Definitely looks super gorgeous, but we're not getting any new pieces in this pack, so we should not pay attention to anything that we're seeing new. But definitely a beautiful... If this is like the, the new campaign scenario, it looks really gorgeous, especially in the snow. Discover the vast lands of Eurasia. So right over here, I think this is the wild boar that we are seeing. Not really that clear. There we go. This is a clear image of the wild boar. Not entirely sure what to think of the wild boar. I mean, we just got the colored packery with the anniversary update. So I'm a little bit like, wait, another pig? <laughs> But don't get me wrong, I guess it, it will be fun and I, I'm sure that many people will love this one because I know that a lot of people were asking for the wild bowl instead of like the collared peccary. So yeah, I'm sure that there are some people out there that are super excited for this animal. So let's continue. What do we have here? This one is one that I'm probably most excited for, the wolverine. Like I knew that a lot of people were asking for the wolverine, but I didn't exactly knew how this one was looking. 
I don't think I ever saw this animal in real life. I think it looks so fluffy and furry. I don't know. It looks so beautiful and so, I don't know, that you want to cuddle it. Even though I don't think that this one is uh, very friendly in real life. <laughs> but it looks so cute and I love this little animation here with the paws trying to dig in the snow. Looks so adorable, doesn't it? Okay, so if we continue, then we get the mute swan a little bit right over here behind the reed or the grass or whatever it is. And this looks so beautiful, isn't it? It looks gorgeous. But the mute swan is not really revealed that much. So we have to deal with this. Does look really fantastic. Not entirely sure how I feel about the mute swan. Like, obviously, it's a bird. Like, I'm super excited that we're getting another bird. Uh, but out of all the animals they could have chosen for this pack, it's like, yeah, okay, mute swan. I don't really see mute swan in a habitat in a zoo. So if it's more like, oh yeah, you will be having swans in a pond or like a river. Uh, but I guess we can play around with that and make it feel like they will be in a pond or a river. But are there any zoos out there that have a mute swan as a habitat animal? Do let me know because I, I don't know them. Like we have swans like in our ponds and stuff in, in just when you go outside, so not per se to a zoo. So I'm super curious, is this a common animal you see in some zoos? I really don't know, honestly. But yeah, it does look good nonetheless. So very excited to see more about the mute swan. And this, <laughs> this right over here, I think is the Sega, but you will not see anything else than this right now in the trailer. I don't think there is any other animal right over here in the backside no but it does look very cool i'm very curious to see this animal i don't think i've seen this animal in real life as well so gonna be excited to see this one in action and to learn more about this animal it does look good from what we can tell a little bit more of the fuzzy fur again maybe but when i look at a picture in real life i guess it looks exactly the same so yeah very curious to see this one in action just look at how it moves here it's so funny and here we have the wizened again it does look very beautiful now seeing this shot here so i think it also is a matter of just the trailer maybe not showing exactly how the fur is looking sometimes because this already does look a lot better than the beginning that we saw it does look very beautiful but in all honesty, like I'm not super excited about all these hooved animals, but that's obviously personally like I know that there are a lot of people out there that are very excited for the whites and the wild bull, wolverine, tag and sega, slot bear, mute swan. I'm curious to hear mute swan. I don't think I've heard many people asking for that. And the Herman's tortoise, which is going to be an exhibit animal, I'm assuming. I'm also very curious to hear if people are excited for the Herman's tortoise. Do let me know in the comments down below. So now let's go over the screenshots. Right over here, we have the new campaign scenario. This one is without the snow, I'm assuming. I think this is the same map that we just saw in the background. A very beautiful map. I love the city that they build here. It looks fantastic, honestly. And the mute swan definitely fits in super well here. I think this is the pond for the mute swan. We can see the bison right over here. It's actually quite funny how they used the ball here to make like this, this football or, or soccer field or whatever you want to call it. That is super funny. I doubt there will be a many pieces new other than the gift shop pieces. If you did miss out on that free update announcement, definitely go and watch my other two videos that we already posted on the channel about the new souvenir shops that will be added next week as well on Wednesday the 13th of December. Definitely very excited for that free update by the way. But yeah, they're going to add this new campaign scenario and I really wanted to bring this up here because there is something in the description about the campaign scenario. It says, can you keep a secret? Meet with Bernie Goodwin again in this new campaign scenario. Aid him with his secret mission to design and build a zoo as a surprise retirement gift for Nancy Jones to watch over her twilight years. Having worked together for over 30 years, Bernie is bursting with excitement while working on this project for his oldest friend. Can Bernie keep these plans under the wraps or will Nancy catch on? And the reason why I want to bring this up is that I wonder if this surprise retirement gift is a hint that we are about to approach the last development year of Planet Zoo 
we already did some videos about the new planet games or the new creative simulation management games that Frontier announced that will be launching over the next three years. So it might not be surprising if Planet Zoo development will be ending next year if there is a new Planet game launching at the end of next year. And because they also state a surprise retirement gift for Nancy Jones to watch over in her twilight years. And I was looking up like what does that mean if you say like twilight years and according to Google it says the last years of someone's life. So does that mean that Frontier is hinting now to the last year of Planet Zoo development? Does that make any sense to you guys? Do you guys feel the same or am I just going crazy here and like I never really see anything like oh that must be a hint or that must be something but now I'm a little bit like wait why are you talking about a surprise retirement in her twilight years? Not entirely sure so I'm super curious to hear what your thoughts are like it actually would make sense that this may be a hint from them to tell us like hey guys keep in mind next year we are going to end development for the game so this is a little hint towards that. I don't know it kind of feels this way to me but let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about this and now let's go to the next screenshot. And then right over here we go to this screenshot with again like this beautiful building or castle or whatever it is in the background and we can see the mute swans here swimming in a beautiful pond and also notice these little ones right over here now i have seen swans in real life pretty often with some babies and they're not usually black or at least i don't know if they are so this might be a color variation to it i'm i mean i only know white baby swans so <laughs> i'm not entirely sure about that if you guys know more about that do let me know but i can only remember seeing mute swans or maybe it's not a mute swan maybe it's a different swan that we have in the netherlands then i don't know if there are more uh, swan species but i don't know about these guys so it looks like this is like a color variation. Now I am curious to see if these animals will be able to fly. Maybe they are able to fly a little bit just like the flamingos. Not assuming that they are going to be able to, to fly around through their habitats. But hey, who knows? Maybe Frontier will surprise us about this one. But yeah, they're a little bit far away, but they definitely do look very good. Also really love this railing here, by the way. That looks fantastic. So then we go to the next screenshot. This is the wild boar. This screenshot actually reminded me a lot of the colored peccary screenshot. Like it's pretty much... The exact same picture, but then without the wild boar in the background over here. Yeah, I can't say I'm super excited about another uh, a pig, bull, whatever you want to call it, in the game again. But that's a personal taste. As I said, I know that there are a lot of people super excited for this one. So I am super excited for you guys as well that the wild boar is being added into the game. The little piglet does look super adorable, by the way. So I... <laughs> can't say anything negative about that definitely not so moving on to another screenshot of the wizen this almost looks like the same shot that we just saw in the trailer so it does look super nice again now the bird does look a little bit more fuzzy to me i'm just so curious to see how these animals will look in the game I feel like comparing to the other animals that we had over the past year with the packs with every time saying oh my goodness these animals keep looking better and better with every pack. Not entirely sure if I will feel the same about this pack when it comes down to the animals. Sure the animals look great but not as good maybe as the other packs. I don't know how do you guys feel about that let me know. And last but not least we have the wolverine and this screenshot again does make me feel like oh my goodness i think this is going to be my most favorite animal of the pack if i have to choose one but maybe it will be completely different when i start playing with the game and i had the same with the oceania pack once i saw them move around all the animals like i wasn't super excited for the animals but when i saw them i just fell in love with all the animals because of the animations how they move and how they interact with each other so in the end it turned out to be a really good pack even though i wasn't like super excited for it at 
first. But um, so I'm just super curious to see how I will feel about this pack right now. I'm like, oh yeah, it's an alright pack, but it's not really the most exciting animals for me personally. But the Wolverine definitely seems to be my most favorite animal of this pack as far as I can say right now. It does look so beautiful and these paws and the fur and stuff. I'm definitely a fan already of the Wolverine. I really cannot wait to see this one more in action. And there's one right over here walking in the backside as well very excited to see more about this one and then last but not least i also did want to share the artwork with you guys like this one does look absolutely fantastic this definitely does show a different type of graphics so this makes me more confused how the edible will look in the game like obviously this is the artwork so this might just not resemble how things will look in game but the artwork does look absolutely fantastic you can see the wolverine right over here and the wild boar right over here i think it looks so freaking beautiful so whoever made this at frontier you did a fantastic job on this one i mean just look at the hair here at the ears it's it's so good so yeah a lot of stuff to think about and and obviously i first would love to hear from you guys what out of all these eight animals so the wise and wild boar wolverine tacking sega slot bear mute swan and herman's tortoise from all the animals that we have seen so far like we still need to see some of the animals so i will keep you guys up to date of course if there are more screenshot reveals during the week so definitely do stay tuned for that and subscribe of course if you haven't already to the channel but yeah what is the animal you are looking forward to the most and what are your thoughts in general about this animal roster like are you excited for it are you maybe a little bit disappointed for it i mean okay it's not the birds and the aquatic animals that we are hoping for i will probably make a video about that later on to, to share my thoughts about the current situation now that we do know what the next pack for this year will be together with like the frontier layoffs and stuff that we already spoke about just to share a little bit of my thoughts of what i think the future will hold for planet zoo at this point and what are your thoughts about the description about the new campaign scenario definitely would love to hear everything from you guys how you guys think about the current situation and and the new announced pack that will be dropping on Wednesday the 13th of December so next week on Wednesday so yeah let me know leave a like at the video if you guys so yeah do let me know in the comments down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys